Brandon, 6'4", exploring Thurbeck Stickland. Got an awesome spot for you guys. This is another one of the houses that's in the little abandoned neighborhood with that one house that had the really moldy basement. So I'm hoping this house, the basement's gonna be clean. But this house is beautiful. There's also tons of stuff left behind. The weather's getting so nice now that you don't even have to wear a jacket. But unfortunately, there's mud everywhere. So that part sucks. You gotta get to the house and your boots weigh an extra 15 pounds until you smack the mud off of them. But it's part of the job. I absolutely love it. You guys are gonna love this house. Let's get exploring, we're already in here. We're gonna start off in here, which I'm assuming is your little front door, little foyer area. What do you call this, like a, like a mud room? When you've got a little area from the front door to enter the house? I think that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong, I know you will. Got some batteries. And I'm saying I know you will in a good way. I love the information, I love learning. Got a, got a photo book here. Who leaves that behind? Pictures of the lawn. I'll put it like that, it'll hold itself, yeah. Sorry that light's on. They might have it set up so... Oh. <laughs> it's going on and off. I'm going to show a few pictures. I don't want to go showing everybody. But very cool. This should all be taken. That should be with somebody. I wonder why that light's flashing. Let's get my light on here. A whole bunch of random just electronics and what looks like a soldering gun. Christmas stuff. They left their keys behind. I wonder if those are the keys to the house. Took the car keys, left the house keys. When you're gone, there's no point. I love you, Panda Man. Thank you for watching over us, keeping us safe on these explorers. God, you as well. You know I'm always thinking about you too. Now look at this. We even got, we got a slideshow going on. Oh, go that way, see the couple dogs? There they are. There's a couple people sitting at a picnic table. That's cool. I would have loved to live in the time of these old slides. Looks like the same guy at the same table. He didn't move all day. All right. And check that crack and bow along the ceiling right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Some treasures, scissors. There's windows all over, so I just don't want to get too visibly in sight. That's pretty cool. Fancy. Somebody left their, uh, their tripod. Is that you, Riddle? Don't worry, I found it for you. I wonder if there's anything in the garment bag. There is so. Nice little suit jacket. Bunch of old style. Pots and pans. Looks like we got maybe some silver trays. Almost hit my head on these. Weird lights. And yes, again, this is one of the houses that's just been abandoned now for maybe a year tops. And there is still the fire alarm going off. Sometimes batteries can last a long time. 
It's a nice little, nice little dresser. Almost kind of like a, a makeup stand type thing. Nice oil lamp. A whole lot more keys. There's a garage and stuff like that on the property as well. They're empty and not in good condition at all. I checked them out. So I don't see there's going to be much of a point in me filming them, but we'll see what happens. That's really cool. Old school shoe shine box. Now go home and get your shine box. Name that movie in the comments. Look at that, eh? The whole setup and everything. Very cool. I'm gonna make sure it all stays in here. This will kind of go this way. There's still a lot more to check out in this one room. There's so much stuff. Style the old wood. It's a nice little hangout room. A little bay window. This house looks like a lot of the work was done. Done by themselves. And I'd say a little bit roughly. But you never know the situation, so. I'm not saying nothing bad. Nice back porch. We'll check that out. See, the way that this house, the uh, siding and everything is, it matches that garage right there. So I'm assuming they're part of the same property. But the garage is empty. There's nothing in it at all. I was going to start there and film from there and do my walk-in. But since it was so empty and in bad condition, and the mud was horrible, it changed my situation. A lot of old newspaper. The date on that one's 2021 with this guy, so it's not too old. Got some firewood, paper. Some Christmas stuff, matches. A shoebox. A little dog water dispenser. This is nice. Beautiful old stove. Check out this little bit of a some copper candle holders and a little plate. I wasn't sure if it was going to be something special. Birds, all your birds. Oh, that's nice. A lot of these old paintings. I wouldn't want to be leaving them. I'd be taking them with me. Here we got the bathroom. So it appears the water's turned off. There's no water in the toilet. But again, there is power to the house. That's weird, you can't have a that deep of a bath there. Must have gotten elderly at the time. It's got the couple handrails and everything as well. Nothing left in here. Big old soap dispenser. Okay, let's go this way. So I hope that wasn't too fast of a move. And then on the back of the door. 
a little office room, filing cabinet, computer, looking out your back windows. Show you a little bit of the porch. Nice chairs, they're hanging out. Big plant pots. That's a nice wicker chair right there. It's almost hidden in the vines. And then a cat scratcher. Bunch of junk on the property. Well, it's, it's junk now. But like some of that stuff looks like it was junk beforehand. Some people have gotten upset at me when I've fallen things garbage or junk because at one point it was somebody's possessions but I'm normally not talking about the possessions I'm just talking about the garbage on the floor or the stuff people have dropped off outside whoa it kind of looks like there was going to be an upstairs to this place so we'll see, we'll see about that. Big window. Chandelier. Let's just see what's happening on here. Rewritable CDs. Gold mine. Jackpot. Little watch of jewelry, small screwdrivers, razor blades that aren't there, good. Again, more keys. Look at that old radio. Very nice. A little bit of light on it for you. Boom. Work it. Work it. All right. Candle holder. Oil lamp. Now there's jugs of water, but there's also a water dispenser, so I'm not sure if there was going to be any squatting here. It's going to be hard to tell. Oh, the nice pictures and butterflies. File folder, we don't need to get too close to that. Nothing in the cupboards. Club soda that's not supposed to be red, but it's got an ANT on it. So they're smart, at least they labeled it, even on the lid. Anti fluid, some sort of something. Colored glass, not the nicest color, but it's very nice. It's a cool looking light. Be quite dangerous if it fell on you. This little spike down here. Well, there's this little shed. We'll see if we can check it out. Looks like it's getting a little windy. Hopefully that dies down. We've got drone shots to do still. <laughs> if I if it wasn't too windy, you would have seen them at the beginning of the video. If it was too windy, then there was none at the beginning of the video. And I don't know yet because <laughs> I'm still in the middle of the situation. Some cleaning supplies. This own little standalone cabinet. Just saying it because it, it's got quite the shake to it. See, but this, somebody put together, pinned it all up. That could block a door or a window. So that could be signs of squatting. Separate. Almost like a separate apartment. Like the old tile. 
I'll take a peek or two. Huh? Then iron and a glass. Ketchup. Fortune cookies. There's a few random things. Still tucked around, spread around. Organic pitted dates. Delicious. Not really. Not really. I notice I said that it sounded a little too believable. A little make your own pizza, a little tiny pizza. Comes with a little cast iron skillet. Lots of food here and medication type stuff. Well, almost just what do you call them? Vitamins and stuff for working out. But a lot of food here and canned goods. So people, if they were homeless, so but it went bad 2022. What about the beets? 2022. And it's 2024 now. So. As I was saying in the other video, I thought it seemed possibly like it was more than a year. So with those cans here. Yeah, with those cans there, maybe it could have been two years. I don't know if I got cut off there. But I got to the to the max point that the camera was gonna film before it had to had to stop so I can start a new session. With the eleven it used to stop around eleven, twelve minutes on its own. This one goes up to about twenty. The new twelve, so it's not too bad. Twenty twenty one calendar. It's been a while that these plants have been. You know what we can do? There's no water in here. There's no power, but I got my water bottle. Let's give each one a wee bit and see if we can't save them into the summer. Because it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much for roots to come back to life. And I'll I'll sacrifice my water for the plants. Mm. I love aloe plants. I got tons of them. All right, I'm going to take a tiny sip. And give the rest to you. Now, I don't like littering. You know that. I don't like leaving stuff here. But I'm going to put my bottle in here. Since, since the water went to the plants, I think it's okay. Normally, I would put that in my pocket and take it with me, crunch it down, but I don't want to make a noise the whole video. Looks like somebody was still hanging around watching TV. This big old honking old TV. I thought that was maybe a beta. It's a case to a Samsung phone. Is that another? Uh... Yep. This one's older. Cool looking guy, his wife. Love the old photos, the old suits, long hair. Very cool. That's awesome. I hope they're still married and doing amazing. Because they look like a happy couple. Wildflower honey. But somebody put like jujubes inside. Would you people prefer jujubes or jujubes? <laughs> All right, so there's an upstairs here. Did anybody notice if there was a second upstairs or a basement? So yeah, there's the basement. We walked past it, no problem. Well, just 
just curious. No, only the one stairs to upstairs. All right. Our way up. Okay. Let's see what upstairs is all about. Nice carpet. It's, the staircase is wide. That's a bonus. The sun is bright. Watch out. There's only one upstairs room, is what it's looking like. I guess we could tell that a bit by the by the thumbnail, by the look of the house from the outside. A bunch of that table is really nice, nice and carved out. Some pictures, some electronics, paper. Nice, decent sized room though. Another nice little, nice little table, nightstand. It's a really bright washroom. It's weird, there's lots of mouse poo down there, but I don't understand the the garbage bags unless there was a squatter here and that was some sort of a way to to shower and not ruin the place so there's a razor in there hmm. yeah it seems pretty plausible that there was a squatter here so since this is it for the upstairs normally I do it in two We'll just walk downstairs together. Got nice wide stairs. I like that. The plants haven't started to come back yet, but it won't be long. Uh, big wide basement too. Basement stairs. with what almost looks like a little Dutch woman. Ooh, these, this section of stairs is quite soft. Do a few stomps just to make sure I'm gonna, gonna make it. So it's not the biggest of basements. It's not moldy like that last one, amen, thank you. But there is a ton, ton of stuff. Beep. Right by my head. So let's start on one side. Let's see just what is going on. Oh, blender, heat light, dried bean soup, more prunes. I was gonna say, it kind of smells <laughs> earthy down here again. Like there's a window open or such, but that just means that the mold is starting. It's somewhere. Mandramia? Never heard of it before. Okay, okay. An old sewing machine. Popcorn maker. Mm, cool. For sewing. Just keeping her sewing stuff in these. Very cool. 
Now this thing. So you put something in there. It's going to pinch it. And then you're going to push it out. Is this for pushing a cork into a wine bottle? Is that what that is? It's going to be my best guess. Somebody's going to know better than me and they'll educate me in the comments. Unless I'm right. Seems all right. It doesn't seem too far off. Nice jars. Like these made in Canada. Crown. It's got the crown on it. It's a beautiful jar. Hmm. There's just some, some flowers on the ground. A cooler. Oh. Some something in a red bottle. Scary looking. Food, flour, human body parts in jars. We've got ooh, a homemade witch's brew. Some, some sheets. I wonder if all this stuff was, you know, it was good at one point. <laughs> it had to have been. Too bad. There's some water. Plus there's the jug upstairs. We gotta water these plants more. I think that's the plan. That's the next plan. Take a jug of water and water the plants in the house. After we uh, take our pictures and pans down here. Beep. And wherever this one is, they've got it hidden pretty good. I'm not going to take the batteries out of this one or anything. It's just sometimes it's nice to know where the beeping's coming from. I'm going to take some pictures, pans. I'll see you guys upstairs. Since I talked to you guys about it, I figure we'll show you just what's going on. Got a burnt down house. Just the roof is all gone. So there's no point of checking it out. So I guess I'm wrong. That house had its own garage. There's a giant building here that's all locked. That could be it. So this house went with this garage. I guess there's a couple things. I was just too bugged by all the mud at first. And then when I came over here, I had insulation all on my feet, which I guess I'm doing again. Smart, smart kid you are, Brandon. I don't have my light, sorry. It's all packed away. What are these? The end of it looks like it'd be for testing the air pressure. Just a little bit of random stuff he was doing. So yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So insulation on my boot, but I used the water here to try to get it off, whatever that is. So yeah, this garage belonged to this house. That house is on its own. That house there is the one you've seen with the van. And this house here, it's just a little tiny house. I don't know if I'm going to be filming it and putting it on a video. If I do, you'll see it. If not, I apologize. But again, you're not missing much. So that's it. I love you all. See you on the next Explore. Actually, cue the outro. All right, everybody, what do you guys think about this spot, eh? Very cool. I love when there's tons of stuff left like this. Again, it's not the oldest abandoned house that we've been in. 
in the camera there, it looked like there was somebody standing right there, so I had to take a peek. Yeah, this isn't one of the most old abandoned houses we've been in, but again, it's abandoned. It's gonna be demolished really soon. There's a good number of stuff left in here. I'm thinking it's definitely been more than one year. I'm thinking it's been two to three years, and there was definitely a squatter here at one point, but I love this house, another beautiful property. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for all your support. Brandon Abandon, and I'll catch you on the next explore. Ciao.